So this is my original albino that I got over three years ago. She was a little froglet with a stump of a tail when I got her. And she's bred twice now, or she's spawned twice. Unfortunately, the spawn wasn't viable this year. Uh, the first year, I bred her to a normal wild male. This year, I bred her to one of these guys. This is what I call a pink albino. You see the sort of pinky colour compared to the gold. So I believe they're a different, different morph, different mutation. That's why I thought the eggs, uh, I thought the spawn would be viable, I thought it'd be okay. I thought it would produce normal, um, kind of double heterozygous offspring basically, but yeah, it just didn't develop at all. Um, these wild type ones are heterozygous albino, so they're carrying the gene for the pink albino. They've got a pink albino as a father. Um, so they should be ready to breed next spring and produce more of those albino type. And then I've got these guys that are reared last year. These ones, I, I believe they're tyrosinase positive albinos, they look like. They've got a darkish eye, but they are like a albino type. The eyes are a bit pinkish when the, the light catches them a certain way. And these guys that are this reddish colour... I hold one there next to a yellow one and you can see the difference. I believe they're the same. They've come from the same place. I think they're siblings. In fact, all of these are say uh, all of these are different, sorry. And if you look at this one and this one, see what a different shade they are. So I believe they're the same type. I think that's just down to the individual variation that you get in common frogs because you know, if you look at wild type ones, any wild frogs, um, they're all individual. You know, if we look at these two, they're kind of different shades. Similar-ish, those two. Um, this one's a little bit pinkish. But yeah, you get different shades of pinks and reds and things in there in the wild type. So. When you make them an albino, removing the black from them, I assume gives them kind of this variation that we see here within within a morph. Um, so yeah, they're really interesting animals to work with because no two are the same, even if they're, they're the same morph like that. You know, the two yellow ones are different, the two orangey ones are, are different. Look how spotty that one is there. Um, so yeah, they're just they're fascinating animals to work with. I just want to show you as well some albinos what I'm rearing this year. You can see the little guy there. Um, they look kind of like a, a tyrosinase positive albino again. Similar. But they look a little bit different. The eye colour is more reddish colour. So they've come from a different source. They're unrelated to, to these bigger ones. Um, and I, th I think it is a different morph. Well, I keep calling them both positive albinos I don't really know what the best best names are to give for some of these morphs sometimes um, but yeah that's that's gonna be really interesting to see how how those develop Got quite a few of of these guys there um, again they vary slightly between in the between the individuals they're all fairly similar though this is the grandfather of those froglets. All three photos are actually the same animal. You can see on the right hand side, his eye looks more red, but the eyes on all these animals can appear quite different in colour depending on the angle of the light. Obviously they don't live in this bucket, so I'm just going to get them back into their, um, their enclosure, their greenhouse where they live. Um, you see they've got a little pond there, log piles and walls and places to hide. Um, I chuck lots of crickets in here all the time. A lot of people ask me about you know what I feed them. Um, lots of dusted crickets. 
I'm starting to keep now a kind of tub of mealworms just there so they can they can hop in there and um, just gorge themselves if they want to. Um, a lot of people say mealworms aren't the best thing but uh, they're handy for, for having a bowl full there and letting them really kind of have a good fill up occasionally. Um, I give them a lot of earthworms. I find that's the best food for growing them on. Really, especially when they're young, I give them lots of earthworms. I get them on chopped earthworms as quick as I possibly can. Um, there's, quite a, there's quite a few more in here somewhere. There's quite a few of those hets of different kind of shades. There's one I need under there, another one up at the back. Oh, there's another albino I didn't show you before, another T-positive. Um, uh, there's another T-positive. This has got quite a mottled sort of colour to it, quite different to the others. So there's there's lots going on. Um, watch this space. 2024 is going to be a really exciting year for the captive uh, breeding project of these animals. So I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching.